all money that I don't accept Hello guys, welcome to Merch-Benz King. This is the Mercedes AMG GLE 53 Formatic Plus. And today we are here in beautiful Düsseldorf and I will show you the complete exterior interior and you will take it for a drive here in the city. So let's first start with the front of the car. And here you can see that Mercedes-Benz has put the emphasis on a real AMG. So that's why it has the Panamericana grille with 14 vertical lines and a large Mercedes star in the center, which appears at you, approaching the rear view mirror of the car in front of it. It also has a little bit of the shark design. You can see that from the curves moving forward, and it has an aggressive AMG stand, especially here with its night package, the horizontal blacked out lines. And these headlights are new. It is the multi-beam LED and it has 84 different LEDs per headlight with a gorgeous characteristic E-Class two angular lines, making it instantly recognizable as the GLE family of the E-Class. So the Panamericana grille is not the only design change to make it recognizable as an AMG. It is also in the rear. But before that, we will have a look at the side of this large SUV. It is four meters and 92 centimeters in length. It has the Turbo Formatic Plus emblem and the plus is a little bit red. Amazing AMG characteristics with the night package. So blacked out side mirrors, including the contours around the window and the rails on the top. These rims are a massive 22 inch and the size is 28540ZR22. It also has the curvy design as I mentioned from the front here on the side body with the very curvy wheel archers, especially here on the rear. The rear tires are larger in size, 325-35-22 inch. At the rear side, it has a very round shaped curve. Very gorgeous on the GLE. You can notice the pointy edges for the tail lights. A gorgeous design, which we also see in the new CLS. But here it looks thicker and wider. It is one meters and 95 centimeters in width. It has a gorgeous GLE 53 emblem on the right side. Mercedes star and the AMG emblem on the other side. Also to make it really look like an full on AMG. It has these new tailpipes, which are very wide, nine centimeters in width, and the blacked out diffuser for the night package. So let's have a look at what is in the trunk. So you can open it with a key, also with your foot underneath, but I will just open it with my hand. And there it goes, all automatic. You can remove the cover, and here you can see there's a lot of trunk space, more than 700 liters. Underneath the cover, some space for a spare tire. And you can also make the car go down by pressing the button and now the floor will go down. As you can see, this way it is easier to make the dog hop inside. So let's close the trunk. And we will have a look at the interior. But first, make sure you follow me on Instagram. The link is down below. And I have amazing content special for you, including coming soon, the GLC 63 AMG. So let's go to the interior. Wow, my first impression is amazing. It has two large digital screens 
and the front of the GLE 53 also displays here in front of you with the Panamericana grille. But first of all, check out this steering wheel. It has Alcantara fully around it with two vertical lines and the AMG emblem. So let's hit the button for the electronics to work. It also has the driving select switcher here at the steering wheel. So you can switch it from comfort all the way to sport plus. And as you can hear, it also has the cyclist warning system. So if you're standing still, it will warn you with the side mirrors if a cyclist or a pedestrian is approaching so that you don't open and slam the door against them. So let's leave it in Sport Plus and that's also where it belongs in this AMG. Over here you have some buttons to change the suspension and the exhaust sound to powerful. Leather stitching everywhere and I really love this carbon fiber glossy materials on the dash and the door panel. In my opinion it looks better than the wood option. It has the ambient lighting all around the interior, also here at the handles, very SUV like. It has two large cup holders and a wireless charger for your phone. The system works great, amazing. So let's start the engine and you will listen to the sound of this 3 liter 6 cylinder petrol engine. It does have a very deep exhaust sound, different compared to the 43 as we drove earlier. And that is really satisfying. So let's listen. Over here it has the seat adjustments. You can adjust the seats in many different ways, including the headrest. And I really love these AMG Sport seats. These are not the AMG Sport Cup seats. And I would definitely advise you to go for this one because they are extremely comfortable. And that really suits this SUV size. It has amazing leather stitching all around the interior. At the dash but also underneath. Amazing. So let's have a look at the rear seats and we will look at the practicality in particular. So let's go. So the door opening is huge, very easy to sit inside. And the feeling of closing the door is also very quality like. But you really notice that the seats are a little bit downward sloping. So you have more leg room as you can see. But it makes it a little bit less comfortable for longer trips. As you could remember from the ML, you were sitting a little bit higher than the people in the front. And that's because the vehicle was downward sloping to the front but here you have the feeling that you're sitting a little bit lower than the front passengers but you do have a lot of headroom and beautiful Alcantara you have your air vents next to you with Burma surround sound system and a lovely blue color for the ambient lighting it has a very low tunnel as you can see and that makes it easy to sit here in the center part also some storage space with two large cup holders and you can also access the trunk via the center as you can see. So one thing I definitely noticed and I have to mention are the speakers here on the side of each passenger also in the front and in this way the acoustic is better in the vehicle so if you're driving on high speed you can easily understand each other these are actually speakers. So let's go and we'll take this GLE 53 for a drive in the city. So let's have a look at what is under the bonnet of this massive SUV. And yes, here you can also see the design of the AMG. 
they really put a focus on it. It has a robust cover which protects the engine with a red line design of AMG. So it produces 435 horsepower and 520 newton meters of torque. This 3 liter 6 cylinder petrol engine is also accompanied with an EQ boost, which is powered by a 48 volt system and it delivers an additional 250 newton meters of torque with 23 horsepower at go. And this all together takes this GLE 53 from 0 to 100 km an hour in just 5.3 seconds. So let's close the bonnet and we'll take it for a drive. So let's go. Into the city of Düsseldorf. Hey Mercedes. How can I help? Start the road guidance to Königsallee, Düsseldorf. Here is what I found. Where do you want to go? One. Let's go. Let's In go. 200 meters at the traffic light, turn left onto the Hallstrasse. And here you can see the life. 200 meters at the traffic light. Traffic camera. It tells you exactly where to go. So in 90 meters to the left. You can also zoom in with the touchpad here at the center console. It is very intuitive, just like a mobile phone. And you can also use the screen as a touch screen. Check this out. So here you have the tower and everything together. Amazing crackles. So the seating position of the GLE is amazing. You feel like a boss in here. It is massive with great materials. It really hugs you. So here we are guys at the Koningsallee with a lot of amazing AMGs. As we are driving in a very low speed, which is typical for the Koningsallee, you can really notice there isn't any sound coming from the engine. Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Styles and display. So here you can change the settings. Here you can select the engine data to see the newton meters of torque 
and the horsepower. And as I mentioned, it has 520 Nm of torque with an additional 250 Nm due to the EQ boost. Hey Mercedes. How can I help? Activate the heads up display. I'm switching on the head up display. Amazing. So guys, thanks for watching Merz Benz King. I hope you liked this video with the GLE 53 AMG Formatic Plus. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.